Hi, welcome back to Science Guy 80 and it is our third video. Sorry it's taken so long to post another video, I've just been getting used to doing some video editing. Exciting stuff. Um, so, moving on from our last couple of videos, we are looking at levels of organisation within the body. Uh, and by the end of this video, you will be able to explain the difference between tissue, organs and organ systems. You will be able to list some of the major organs within the body and what they do uh, and be able to tell some of the, or describe some of the functions of some of the organ systems within the body. Now as you know in the body your body is made up of many many cells in fact billions Okay, it's probably even more. Um, now inside your body, those cells are organized into structures. Okay, now those structures are known as tissue. Okay, so tissue is lots and lots of cells that are grouped together, okay, that perform a similar function or job, and they have a similar structure. Okay, and they work together to perform a job. Um, now, a couple of examples of um, tissue. You've got muscular tissue, which helps you to move. Okay, um, muscular tissue works by you know, contracting, uh, and it moves your bones. It helps you to move. Uh, when I say contracting, they work. You've got a couple. Of, well, you've got muscles that work together to help you move. They're called antagonistic pairing. So if I, um, for instance, move my arm like that, my bicep contracts, but my uh, tricep relaxes. So when I do this, my tricep contracts and my bicep relaxes. So that's how antagonistic pairing works, and that's basically what your muscle tissue helps you do. It moves your limbs, moves your bones, helps you to move. Now the other mus uh, other tissue we're gonna look at is glandular tissue. Now glandular tissue um, are cells grouped together that um, produce special um, chemicals such as digestive juices. Now we're gonna have a brief look at some muscular tissue and some glandular tissue just to see just to see what they look like okay here we go coming up okay so that was some examples of muscular tissue and glandular tissue now we're going to move on we're going to look at organs now now organs are made up of several types of tissue okay uh, they work together and they perform a function um, or job. Now, for example, um, if we take the stomach, okay, now the stomach is an organ that is involved in digestion uh, and it contains two types of um, tissue, okay? So again, we're looking at some, it contains glandular tissue, okay? Now, as I said a little bit earlier, glandular tissue helps um, with digestion okay it produces digestive juices which have enzymes in them and they break down food putting it in a basic way um, also your stomach contains muscular tissue now the muscular tissue helps to well get it it mixes up the digestive juices and the food and helps to break down the food um, so it mixes all that together okay and we're going to have a look at the stomach okay just you know just a brief diagram of the stomach and then in a moment after that you'll see um, a picture of the body with some major organs on it okay coming up Okay, so you just saw there um, two diagrams, one of the stomach um, and one of the whole body and organs within your body. Um, now, if we just go a little bit deeper into the, di the second diagram, okay, it had a list of certain organs within the body. Now, if we take the brain, for instance, the brain controls your body. It controls everything, every job, every organ, 
everything within your body. Okay, is the supercomputer of your body. Um, we will go into the um, structure of the brain at a later video. Okay, but for now, it, it controls your whole body. Okay, now the heart that pumps blood around your body to your muscles to your other organs. Um, you know, it carries oxygenated blood around your body and it helps you live. Okay, putting that very simply, uh, but. I think that's quite an effective way at the moment to explain it. Um, the lungs carry oxygen, or take in oxygen, sorry. They take in oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. It's known as gas exchange, okay? Oxygen comes in, carbon dioxide goes out. So when you breathe in, oxygen comes in. When you breathe out, carbon dioxide comes goes out. Um, now the liver. Liver uh, gets rid of the poisons um, from your blood and produces bile um, to help you to help you digest or to help digestion. Okay, now you can have a look at some of the other functions of other organs in the body in your own time. That was just a brief um, introduction to some of those organs. Now, when you have a group of organs that are linked, okay linked at performing a similar function they are known as organ systems okay so uh, they work together these organs in an organ system work together to perform a job okay now you notice in a pattern everything that is linked they perform a certain job within your body helping your body work helping you live now some examples of some organ systems in your body are the circulatory system Okay, that pumps blood around your body, uh, transports materials to organs um, and your muscles and other parts of your body that need it. Uh, for instance, you know, carries blood around the body, as I touched on earlier. Um, also carries out carbon dioxide to your lungs so it can go out. Um, the digestive system. Okay, we mentioned it briefly to do with the stomach. Okay, it breaks down food. Okay, it breaks down food so that it can be absorbed by your body. All the nutrients that you need to be able to live, to be able to function, are absorbed into your body through your digestive system. Um, and the third one we're going to mention, and there are others, okay, you need to find out about those yourself. Uh, the other one we're going to look at is the reproductive system. Now, the reproductive system is, you know, it... <laughs> It helps us as a uh, as a species carry on. It it's how we produce offspring, babies. Okay, male and female reproductive systems vary, and we will have a look at that in the diagrams coming up. Okay, so we're going to have a look at some diagrams now of some of the circulatory, uh, some of the circulatory, some of the systems, organ systems within your body. Okay, take a look. Okay, so those were some examples of organ systems. Okay, now, as I said at the beginning of the video, we, are lo we were looking at levels of organisation within the body. Okay, now, those levels of organisation are set into some levels. Okay, now, an organism is made up of a number of organ systems. We established that. Um, now, when we look at the organisation structure... Um, we would start with the cell. The cell is the smallest structure uh, within an organism. Okay. Next would be tissue. And as we said at the beginning of the video, tissue is a group of cells that perform a function or similar um, or have similar structure, um, and they perform a job. Okay. Next would be organs. Organs are made up of lots of tissue or different several different types of tissue that perform a job okay now in all, like for instance we looked at the stomach okay which contains muscular and glandular tissue next level of organization would be the organ systems again organs that perform a similar function okay and they are linked within a system okay and they perform a function 
for the body. Uh, next would be the organism. Okay, organism is the largest um, level. Okay, structure level, and that is many organ system organ systems linked. Okay, creating the organism. Now. Uh, I'm just going to put a diagram up of the levels of organization so you get some idea of that. And here it comes. Okay, so we've come to the end of our video. Um, hopefully you found it interesting and hopefully you found it informative. Um, as I've said before, this is just a basic overview. Um, you know, it's a lot, you know, there's too much to cover within 10 minutes. Um, so, you know, do your own research go on the basics I've just given you and move on from there. Um, let me know what you think. Comment in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me some you know, feedback, Con uh, negative or positive. Um, also follow me on Instagram on scienceguy80 uh, for some bite-sized revisions um, stuff. Anyway, see you later.